discrimination. And when I saw it's research no. investigation into all the discrimination of Tamil, yeah, the ability to distinguish between acoustic sources played by human musicians and computer realized musical pieces. Thank you. Okay, so my project is an investigation into Tamil and how we process sound. So it's just basically a test to see if people can tell the difference between real instruments or software instruments. So in the literature review, we covered a few themes, um, including how we hear psychologically and physically, um, how audio-visual relationships can impact how we perceive timbre, and whether technology has improved or hindered progress in that area. So the point of the lit review was to pin down and focus really my project. Um, it sparked a desire to investigate further what, how to define town as something that's a multi-dimensional attribute and can't really easily be defined. So that was the reason for doing the project, really to investigate how does that affect your discrimination ability. My hypothesis really was not a formal one, but informally was that people who had more musical experience would have better sample discrimination abilities, and that was proven in all sections of testing. That yeah, that people with more musical experience perform better. To create the materials, I used Vienna Symphonic Library, um, East West Strings, um, inbuilt instruments in Logic X, and I recorded human musicians playing in the studio. No worries. There were two phases of testing. One was preliminary data capture, and the second one was some more in-depth testing. The first one really was to inform the study design, so that it was more effective the second time around. Um, from the second phase, so split into four sections, a scales test, phrases test, ensembles test, and a video test. And the idea was to test um, how people's discrimination ability changed when the phrases and articulation of these changed. So, um, in each testing area, so the outcome of the project um, showed that 17 to 25 year old age bands perform better than the other age groups in the test. And this suggests that they have the most accurate hearing, this age range, obviously age related hearing loss affects people above these age ranges, so that could be able to reason why the outcome was the way it was. Um, another thing was that generally people who played instruments performed better, they were able to identify whether an instrument was acoustic or digital. Um, people who, uh, especially in the scale section, actually, when, when the notes were isolated, people performed better. Um, in the context of an ensemble, obviously there's more than one instrument playing, and it's very difficult to determine whether it's real or fake. Especially as in low budget media, we're used to hearing take digital ensembles in adverts and films, so it comes with becoming addition to it. Um, the best bit of the project was probably analysing the data actually, because I did find it quite interesting um, to prove relationships between ages and experience levels. Um, there was a lot of data, 55 participants took part in the, in the test, so that spreadsheet was massive, <laughs> but it was, it was interesting to, to draw conclusions from such a large pool of data.